everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Dulce. And today I want to share with you all a story about failure. So a few days ago, I started going through my old files on my computer, just going through stories that I had written stuff because I was basically trying to go through like the graveyard of my manuscripts and writings to see if there was anything worth saving, anything that would inspire me to do some writing. And while I was going through the files, I found a college admissions essay to NYU. And in this essay, I write about how I intend to go to NYU because I want to be an actor and I want to tell stories. And the essay isn't bad. I actually like it. Now granted, of course, my opinion isn't the end-all be-all, but I feel proud of it. It's it stood the test of time and I wrote this back in 2018. So over four years later, I, I read it and, and I didn't cringe. And that got me thinking to that time in my life. And in 2018, I had graduated from my community college and I had decided that the time was it, that I was going to be an actor. And so I was looking at colleges because at the time that I had graduated high school, I wasn't in a position to really go to college. So in 2018, I had taken that as an opportunity to basically be like my senior year of high school. So I was looking at colleges. I was looking at what programs I wanted to audition for. I was so stoked. I had done my research. I had every intention of reaching out to friends that I had that were alumni of different programs. I was ready. I even wrote this college admissions essay. And then guess what happened? I never applied. And so by not applying, I failed. And the thing is, as I was reflecting about it, it made me really sad because I, I had failed in a way that didn't make me proud. Had I gone to apply to NYU, had I auditioned, had I auditioned and then been rejected, I think I would have been proud of myself. I know I would have been proud of myself because then at least I went for it and I gave it my all, but I didn't even get to the audition part. I didn't even get to the point where I could show myself to NYU and then they could choose whether or not to accept me or not. I didn't take a chance on me. I didn't take a chance on my dream and that really hurts. I'm trying to remember why I didn't apply I think it was a mixture of things, you know, the moment didn't feel right. I probably got too practical about it and was like, it's too much money. But the fact that four years later, I can't remember the definite reason why I didn't apply kind of shows me that the reason I didn't apply was just because I got scared of rejection. And that sucks because I so wish I would have auditioned. Best case scenario, I got in. Worst case scenario, I gave in my all and got rejected. And I didn't. And that sucks. And I'm trying to reflect as I record this video because I thought it was important to share with you all the failures too. Because I am on a Sundance high. Like Sundance was amazing. It was great. And I got to meet so many amazing people. And I'm really excited to be on this path now, but reading that college admissions essay, maybe I could have been on this path four years ago, but I didn't take a chance on me. All this to say that I'm processing those emotions. I am okay with myself, or at least getting to the point where I'm okay with myself. And while I do regret not even auditioning or applying, I can't dwell on that too much because now I'm here. It took me four years later to actually, you know, get real about pursuing my dreams, but at least I'm here. And if anything, that essay shows me that it's better to have given it your all and then fail miserably than not even try. And so as a way to redeem myself a little, I'm going to be reading to you all my college admissions essay that I wrote. A little over four years ago, I was a high school senior in Las Vegas, terrified of June 8th, 2014, my graduation date. While most high school seniors would be excited to be done with high school and become adults in the real world, I was terrified because graduating meant losing the one secure place I had. I was undocumented and thought that college was not a possibility for me. 
The year before, I had looked through colleges but didn't apply for any. Some required a social security number I didn't have, while others required money I didn't have and had no way of working for. Just a year before, I had decided I was going to be an actress. I had participated in an after-school drama club and had fallen in love with the acting world, a world of storytelling where anything was possible and where goodness triumphed. After vigorous research, I decided I would apply to NYU. My status as an undocumented immigrant made me think this was impossible. I gave up on my dream. Over the last four years, I've slowly rebuilt the dream I had. I was able to receive a work permit, which meant I was able to get a job and pay for college. I enrolled at a community college and graduated with high honors. I have worked at a nonprofit registering voters and fighting for immigrant rights. It was this work that made me realize I needed to apply to NYU. The stories I've heard are the stories of struggle, pain, and hope. Stories like mine that deserve to be told and heard. Through theater, I intend to do just that. That is why I have decided to give my dream a shot. The dream of studying at NYU. NYU's motto is Perstare et prestare, to persevere and to excel. I have persevered through everything life has thrown at me. Now, I plan to excel. I believe I can do just that at NYU. If you're watching this and there's something you really want to go for, go for it. At least try. I know I will.